So I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm getting a little bit of the uh, construction blues here. Stop work order. What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Greenhouse Saga Sunday. Saga continues. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my meeting with the building inspector. At the end of this video, I reveal what him and I happen to have in common. I'm also going to talk about what it's going to take to get a building permit for Greenhouse 2.0. And you'll note if you were watching last week's video, while we were working on the plumbing, my plumber is out there and he calls me and says, hey, the building inspector just came by and wants you to meet him in his office. He says if we go any further, he's gonna issue a stop work order. So I've got my meeting set with the building inspector in Nicholasville. I did try to send in my guy, Brandon, who actually knows the building inspector from his residential construction days. So I tried to send in somebody. Brandon came out like a dog that crapped on a rug with his tail tucked between his legs, telling me I have a lot more stuff to do. I've never gotten a building permit before or applied for one, so I have no idea what is involved with this process. I have my meeting set with the building inspector that I am nervous as heck about. But first, I do want to point out a couple of positive things that happened before the meeting with the building inspector before I get negative on you all. And you will notice this video is being shot post run after a nice run. I try to run every day to keep my head straight while I try to figure out which wife's girl I want to impregnate. And Dr. Dre says, hey Dustin, get the greenhouse done, you punk. Okay, so before my meeting with the building inspector, I do want to point out the positives going on in this situation. Despite the fact that I have never actually built anything on my own before and gone through the construction process, I am at this point feeling pretty positive about the situation. Here are three things that I think that I'm doing right. One, I got it up on grade, and I got it up on grade for about four grand less than the other guy quoted me. Despite the fact that I had to dig back through it to get the plumbing in there, it's up on grade, and then I got the plumbing. Let's talk about the plumbing. I was able to successfully file for my plumbing permit. No. When you have one, two, three, four, five, six yard hydrants, it's not exactly the easiest permit to get because this is a lot of water. Where's the water going, young man? I'm just gonna say it, the plumbing design in Greenhouse 2.0 is a work in art in and of itself, and I'm actually super proud of the design. I've got a one inch main. Most of you at your homes have about a three quarter inch mains, five inch main, something like that. I have a one inch main, but I have an ability to grow it up to three one inch mains. So if I don't have enough water flow, I can certainly increase this. Water changes are the most important thing going on in your aquariums, and we're gonna be able to do water changes like crazy. Every single component of the system can be shut off in and of its own right. So if like I have an outside spot that I want to shut off or if I want to work and rework something, everything is done on point with the plumbing in the ground at this point. So I was able to get the plumbing permit and get my plumber started, okay? He's got to go in first. Plumber's rolling, everything is good there. I've also got my construction entrance started. Now, he didn't put belt down, but we did lay down two, so I'm thinking good about this. I also know I have to have a silt fence. I've never put up a silt fence before, and actually Josh put up the silt fence. So I'm rolling into this meeting with the building inspector, not exactly knowing what I'm doing wrong, and I'm kind of nervous about it. Stop. We have to stop the video. I'm worried. Here's how worried I am. I've got this evil vision of the evil building inspector of Jesmond County that's going to eat me for lunch and he's going to put a stop work order and crush my dreams. I've got this vision of this old guy. He's got like a pencil in his ear. He's got like a tool belt kind of thing going on and he just looks mean. He's never smiled at anyone, probably has no kids and eats puppies for lunch, okay? I've got this horrible evil vision of the building inspector of the city of Nicholasville, of a guy that's gonna tear me apart because I know about this much of new construction. Rewind the tape, what am I doing? I'm worrying. No Greenhouse Saga Sunday video is complete without some sort of a positive affirmation. I say to myself every day, I will not worry about things I cannot control. I'm worrying right now about something that I cannot control. Guess what? I'm in the driver's seat of my life and you, my little fish tank punks, are in the driver's seat of your life. I'm worrying about something I can't control. Have the meeting, Dustin. See how it goes. Stop worrying. The great Mark Twain said, worrying is paying interest on a debt you might not even own. Why are you worrying? I go and I have my meeting with the building inspector. Everything I thought, every little dramatic thing I had going on in my head was wrong. First of all, he greets me with a hearty hello. He's not an old evil man that eats puppies for breakfast. He's actually a younger dude. He greets me with a nice warm hello. Nice to finally meet you. He seems mildly interested in the project that I'm having. We go in, I sign one, two, three, four, five copies of the final development plan. I didn't 
know I even need to add to sign the final development plan. I sign him. He also mentions that he spoke to my engineer over at Banks about how I wanted the parking lot slightly wider on these two locations because I'm going to do something sexy with the landscape. And he says, yeah, that's probably cool. I sign it. He describes to me what I need to do with the silt fences and he also describes what I need to do with the construction entrance. He actually hands me a little book right here. Now look, Josh went out there and did the whole silt fences himself. He didn't know what he's doing. I didn't give him a good instruction. No idea. We had no he idea what he was doing at all. Uh, I was just putting the fences Jay, up. Jay, you know what, Josh? I will drop Josh behind enemy lines with nothing but a siphon and he will figure it out, okay? He didn't have any instruction though. I absolutely love this man and his hair. It's the fall fashion sale on DustinsFishTanks.com. Get a free aquarium plan with any merchandise purchased on DustinsFishTanks.com. Classic designs like the white logo tee, or show your gray pride with the gray logo tee, the always tasteful neon AF, and Jungle Val likes it from behind. And don't forget, Shorty, you're my angel. Get a free plant with any merchandise purchased. Don't forget to grab a limited edition Koi and Krenum t-shirt, or clean up the mess, you sloppy punks, with a Dustin's Fish Tanks towel. Supplies are limited. Get your free plant with any merchandise purchased. It's the fall fashion sale on DustinsFishTanks.com. Look great, feel great, be great. And I will tell you that I put him out there. He put him up just the way I told him to put him up. The building inspector was cool. And he handed me a little book that he's like, yo, man, your property gray runs back like this. You got to have the silk fences like this. He also talks to me about the construction entrance. The construction entrance is going to cost me some money. The silk fence is going to cost me some time. All right, so I'm not going to lie to you. I'm getting a little bit of the uh, construction blues here. This is my poor, piss poor attempt at doing silt fences. You can see over here, this is the company Tobacco Rose that everybody's supposed to use. they the neighbors over there. And then uh, over here we got the piss poor silt fence from Piss Poor Dustin. Although for myself it's not too bad. He wanted me to make the angle come around more, but then look at how good of a job this guy did over here, Tobacco Rose. Now last time I called them, they were like two weeks out and even able to do it. So like, if mine looked like that, I'm sure I'd be allowed to have a building permit. So this is the one thing holding me back. It looks pretty weak. If I can get it all tightened up, me and Josh, we can probably uh, get the building permit, but it looks pretty, uh, pretty weak sauce right now. That was a demoralizing moment for your boy D, out in the rain on a Saturday, no building permit, no ugly silk fence, help me. But here's some more good news for your little fish tank pucks. I called the guy, Jay, at Acosta Excavation. I was like, yo, man, listen, I know you were doing me a solid by putting down those twos in the front thing. Uh, I spoke to the building inspector, whatever, and I need to have felt underneath it. You didn't know, I didn't know. I guess in Fayette County, you don't have to have felt down at the construction entrance. And he's like, look, man, I'll tell you what, whatever it costs to move them, I'll split it, I'll even line it up for you. He hits me up with the guy, Ryan. Ryan also knows how to do silt fences and has a little skitter. He goes out there. I dropped $300 on felt, which I wasn't expecting to buy. I had 10 foot of felt coming out the back of my minivan driving down the bypass in Nicholsville. I wish somebody would have got video footage of that. Uh, you go, I lay the felt down. He says, yeah, man, I'll go put the felt down for you. We'll split the cost of moving the twos and putting it back on there, and I can help you with the silt fence. Okay, so we talked about the construction entrance. We talked about the silt fences. Now we're gonna talk about something that's really, really, really ugly, and I have the battle scars to prove it. And we're gonna talk about something that's really beautiful and quite the coincidence in this situation. Let's talk about the ugly first. Say the beautiful for last. Okay, the ugly part. You guys remember Fail.0 and the lady and her 11 friends? Yeah, guess what? One of the things they had huge beef with was the way that that property was put together with all the zoning and the permits and all that sort of thing. Guess what I need for Greenhouse 2.0? I need engineered prints of the greenhouse. I've got the battle scars to prove it. I've already got engineered prints on the way at this point of the actual greenhouse structure done by our friends at Rob Brothers. Greenhouse design engineered prints. Check. Now, I need to show the foundation of Greenhouse 2.0. Not check, that's gonna cost me $1,800 to get the foundation designs with all the reactions and everything of the concrete slab. Yes, I'm doing concrete slab throughout that. No problem, Dusty's gonna fork out the money for that. Here's the rub, here's the ugly part. I need engineered prints for the actual building itself. And guess what? When this was originally quoted by the builders of this building, they did not include the cost of, and did not know, despite being on the property with me, even though they do 100 buildings a year, that they need engineered prints for their building. No engineered prints for the building, no building permit for Dusty. That's the ugly. Here's the 
are pretty. When I walk in to meet with the building inspector of Nicholasville, we start talking about what I'm doing and I explain to him that I'm gonna have a ridiculous amount of fish tanks. Folks, I believe in a higher power. I believe in little signs along the way. I swear to God, I am not making this up and you can see the tears in my eyes, I'm about to say it. When I walked in to talk to the building inspector of Nicholasville, he has not one, not two, not three, not four, but five fish tanks of his own, including this one you see right here in his office. Now look, he needs a little bit of help with the designs of them. The guy keeps cichlids, but by golly, when I found out the building inspector not only was an evil old man that was gonna eat me and my puppies for lunch, but is actually a younger cool dude that has five fish tanks, the entire tone and all of that worrying, that little dramatic play going on in my head disappeared. Now look, he's got a job to do. He's still not giving me a building permit until I cross off X, Y, and Z. But the fact that the man has five fish tanks certainly made the situation a little bit better. Your boy D doesn't have a building permit yet, but hit the like button, subscribe button, share button, and see where this saga's going. The saga continues. Tank on, everybody. Later. Speaking of higher powers, oh, by the way, while all this is going on, I'm still designing my first of three 900-gallon aquariums for the Newport Aquarium. Here's a little sketch of what we're going to have going on later this month.